morning everyone or whatever I say good morning all the time so why did I start this video with a picture of my breakfast and probably half of my lunch there was a lot of food there well I did that because I'm sitting out on my front porch just relaxing and reflecting on the day. It's fairly early. I mean, not terribly early, not like normal when I go to work early, but it's fairly early and I've already gotten up and done some laundry and I've made breakfast for my family. And I came out here and until just a few moments ago, all I could hear were the birds singing. And it's wonderful. And I got to thinking on why I, I try to do what I do. Both as a career, both in prepping. Because I don't find them terribly different. Just like I wanted to start out my day taking care of my family. Because that's the first thing I did when I got up. So I'm like, okay, everyone needs to eat breakfast. And uh, most, most days here lately, I've just been grabbing a handful of tomatoes and then a couple pieces of pre-cooked sausage. And throwing it in the microwave and, and going about my day hear the dog barking she wants on the porch so I you know I wake up and the first thing I think of is is what can I do for my family and that's most of my motivation through the whole day is what what do I need to do for them what what do they need and then when I get to work it's what do other people need I'm gonna move you a little bit what do other people need? How can I take care of them? Then I, I finish up my primary job and if I go to my, my part-time job, it's what can I do for other people? What can I, what can I do? What do they need? So occasionally, just occasionally, I think of what do I need? And then I realize I need the feeling of being prepared for what's next. And of course that starts with my faith in the Lord. And then what do I need here on this earth? What can I do to put me in a better position tomorrow than I am today? I don't often stop and reflect on that. I certainly don't often stop and reflect on that with a piece of paper and a notebook to write down my ideas on, you know, what, what do I want? What is my goal? When I say, you know, being prepared is important, what is it going to take for me to be prepared so that I just, I stop losing sleep or I stop, I stop stressing about things and I can start to enjoy. I enjoy preparedness. I enjoy practicing things. I enjoyed last weekend cooking outside. Uh, now it was by no means rough and it or in survival mode. I was cooking with propane, but I could have just, well, I guess only half because I did quite a bit of Dutch oven cooking. So it could, I could have easily have cooked everything that I cooked on the propane stove on the fire. All, virtually as easy and I had everything I needed to do it. What, what, what does it take for me to be pleased or confident in my preparedness. And there is no real answer right now. You know, I'd like to say it's having, you know, having three months of, of solid food, or solid, three months solid of food and water and medicines and medical equipment and security developed and, you know, and fuel and, and all this. And there's lots of points to it. 
So when I when I get that, is that enough? Is that enough to calm me down or, or make me more comfortable? Well, the answer is no. If I look at it like that, the answer will always be no. But if I look at it that today, today, I am this much better than yesterday, then I can take pleasure in knowing that yesterday I had an extra pound of noodles and a can of sauce. And today I have an extra bag or box of dried milk and an extra package of freeze dried eggs. That may be my all I accomplish in a week, but as long as today I'm better off than yesterday, whether I've learned something, I've, you know, I've practiced something or I've, I've got something new in my preps, you know, learning something is more valuable than anything. Learning something useful. So take it day by day. Stop, enjoy your breakfast, plan the day, write things down, and try to get better tomorrow than you are today. Thanks for being here. You guys really do bless me. Let's get ready.